Hello everyone. So today we have one topper from environmental science and engineering. And we have Amartya with us and who scored AIR 34 in environmental science. So uh, let's know from him what, how did he prepare and uh, what are his, what are his future plans? So if you can uh, learn something from him, I, it would be nice. So hello, Amartya. Uh, and, uh, hello, tell, uh, hello, everyone. Yeah. Tell <laughs> us a little bit about yourself, your uh, college and what are you doing right now? Uh, so, sir, I am a student of uh, BTEC from Civil Engineering from Delhi Technological University. And I'm currently in my eighth semester. And uh, uh, I have appeared for both Civil Engineering paper and uh, the Environmental Science paper in this year, as well as I appeared in the same for the last year. Uh, in Civil Engineering this year, I got uh, about 1400 ranks, 1430, <coughs> 1463 ranks. And I have got uh, All India rank 34 in Environmental Science paper also. Uh, I focused more upon uh, civil engineering part, but I uh, thoroughly prepared the environmental engineering portion also in the civil engineering paper. So that's what I think helped me in my uh, environmental science preparation. I didn't focus much on the other parts like uh, uh, the biology of uh, yeah, the, yeah. the biological reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, so that thing, I, th I think uh, it's not very much important uh, it was not very much important in this year's paper also. Yeah. More portion was asked from uh, the chemistry part. So uh, you can tell us like how, how when did you start preparation and uh, what, like what strategy you were following? Then uh, you can tell like how someone can improve or what changes you think you could make. Uh, so sir, I started my preparation from my fourth semester. And I was focused more on civil engineering. Uh, in the initial portion of my preparation, I used to cover all the syllabus and then I used to practice uh, some questions from previous year also. There is one mistake I think I had made that I didn't practice uh, repeatedly. I didn't uh, repeatedly practice the previous year question. So mm. that's one mistake one should avoid for uh, preparation. Uh, and we should... Uh, thoroughly prepare the topics which are most commonly asked in the questions. This year, I think environmental science paper uh, was uh, too tough because uh, a lot of MSQs were asked so, yeah. and uh, the paper was more theoretical. So that's mm -hmm. why I think I got a good enough rank because I didn't focus much on the numerical part except the environmental engineering part. And I just brushed upon with, uh, I just brushed up with the theoretical portion with the absurd material which was provided so uh, also you appeared in our mock test the all india test that we had conducted and i think that's how you uh, started the environmental science course also so uh, what helped you through that or in that process uh, how did it i mean how did the test series help you the practice of the questions uh, is very much important and i feel test series is a uh, best way to judge yourself and to be uh, acclimatized with the exam environment. Uh, online portal is very much different uh, from the offline test, which uh, we are commonly appearing in our college exams and all. Yeah. Uh, so we need to be uh, more comfortable with the online platform. We need to be more comfortable with the gate calculator. Mm. So appearing in test series is a very good way to practice more in the real time real environment scenario yeah so i want to know like uh, two things first of all a lot of the students uh, i think they start attempting tests itself very late and also uh, there is a problem or like it is difficult for a lot of them to analyze the test like what do you take from the test itself so do can you give any suggestion to the students how should they approach these things uh, so just uh, after one, uh, after we give uh, one particular test, we need to analyze our mistakes and we also need to analyze what questions we got correct even by fluke. So uh, we need to, I used to do what uh, one thing that I uh, noted down few important questions, which I think uh, that it's uh, relevant for my preparation and 
making uh, attempting that question that type of question right in the exam would give me a much better lead in the rank so uh, this is one thing we should do for analyzing our paper we should note down the questions and the solutions and where uh, we did the mistake yeah so this thing is important and repeatedly attempting the previous year questions is also very important uh, yeah and i think as you told like not even the questions where you are making mistakes but even when you're doing the questions correctly you need to analyze those also because uh, sometimes yes. we may guess a question and it it just came right but we are missing the learning in that so that is a nice way to make sure we are taking the, the uh, in the questions like uh, nat type questions yeah uh, it might be possible that uh, our answer just happens to be in the range of the nat yeah. yeah uh, but it's the method is not very correct hmm. so this thing this type of things we can learn from these uh, this method of analysis yeah and uh, what uh, what time do you think like when should people start giving tests or like they should uh, delay it or if they should do it early on whenever they they are in the place to do that so i think uh, there is no appropriate time for appearing in the test series one should start early as as early as possible uh, the subject wise test can be given after one completes uh, their subject or even if uh, the subject is not uh, thoroughly completed uh, we should give test to uh, learn which areas to be, uh, which areas need to be more uh, thoroughly studied yeah so for this kind of thing we can uh, learn from test series and previous year questions only and uh, another thing that a lot of students ask is how much time daily uh, they should give like how much time is needed how much time they should spend in making notes so what do you think uh, like what is your experience with that sir um, i think that making notes is not very important uh, the thing which is important is that we have to write Uh, down the important points. The writing down uh, itself gives uh, us uh, uh, increases the our memory capacity also. So instead of making a proper and beautiful notes, we should focus more upon writing and reading the concepts more. Uh, writing down notes is very important, I, I believe, but uh, it's not that much important that we should keep on writing the notes and uh, ignore uh, the problem solving part of the, our preparation. yeah so uh, i think that's it from my side and i would like to know like uh, do you want to appear in gate again or uh, what are your future plans so i am i haven't given it uh, much of a thought but yeah i will i think i will uh, look at uh, whatever opportunities which, uh, which come by me and if necessary i will give gate again next year also okay so any last word of advice for students who will be writing it next year uh sir the one advice i would uh, like to give is focus more upon problem solving and uh, completion 100% completion of a uh, syllabus is not possible for everyone and we should more we should focus more upon uh, uh, studying the most important topics and practicing questions multiple times when if we solve the same question two three times that would also lead to a lot of value addition in our knowledge yeah. so this thing one should keep in mind and lastly so, i would say all the best to everyone i think Mental that's it effort. that's it from my side and i think a lot of students will find it useful and uh, i wish you all the best with your future and whatever your future endeavors are so all the best Thank you so much sir